three decision victories for the Fighting Illini to start out this duel. They take a 9-0 lead over the 11th ranked team in duels. The Rob Minnesota Golden Gophers, as here's 149 now between Jake Harrier and Drew Roberts for Minnesota. Roberts right in on that first yeah. takedown. Got in on that single will. And Unranked, the redshirt sophomore from Algonquin, Illinois, facing off against the redshirt sophomore from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Yeah, and the story here at 149 is, 149 is, you know, Cannon Webster wrestled all year long. For me to get to this moment is, you know, little shot. It's, it's awesome for them to see me on the on the big stage. Okay. You know, Tony, we really appreciate your time. Congrats on the win. The big one for two and three in the Big Ten. So looking to get back to 500 here against Jake Harrier, who is three and seven overall and one and one in Big Ten duels. Baumbauer, the first wrestler to take down here for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And there's the escape. So the first point of the duel and the match will go to Von Bauer, 1-0 in favor of the Golden Gopher. And he went for a half shot on Von Bauer, countered. He's on that single again. Nice little swoop. Nice little takedown on the edge of the mat. Danny doing a nice job. Bauer can't, can't seem to finish. There's the, there's the first takedown of the match, Will. Rather than be a 4-0 match going through the third period, 4-1, there it is. And he has it. That's a big escape there for Pacino. He gets on the board here in period two. Now it's 4-1. to one. Danny trying a little, little scoot here, get his legs underneath him, fighting hands, trying to get out. Almost there, there it is, he reaches out, he needs to get it at four to two, and he does it with eight seconds before riding time. You know, and that's gonna be a victory yeah. for the Illini. Pacino yep. gets a takedown at the buzzer, and the Illini go up 9-0. Two minutes on the clock, period two, just about to start, and they're off. Wells on top, as Madrigal looks to escape. Nearly has it and does. One point for Tony Madrigal. That staff on Minnesota's side. Oh, there's a nice shot by Madrigal. Can he finish? Up and out. He's got 20 seconds to do so, Will. Little scramble position, but Tony in good good position. They're going to let him wrestle. Nice little, There's there it is. Look and see. There's the control we talked about. And he scores the first takedown of the match. Madrigal looking to hang on. Four seconds, and the veteran in the freshman, 4-0. And that'll do it. That's back-to-back -back decision victories for the Fighting Alliance to start out this duel. Fantastic work by both Cardani and now Madrigal, two seniors who have won on senior night. Yeah, back-to-back, -back. and we're going to try to get Anthony Madrigal over here tonight with Tyler Wells and now Brandon Movari. There's a shot here, by a single leg shot by Justin Cardani. Can he finish? And this is what we talked about, Well, Justin's got that single up, and he's got it looking to get that inside cradle. Nice little scramble, but there's the control. He got it. Yeah, nice takedown there for Cardani. He's going to have to let him go and take the match to his feet. He's not just going to go for a ride out, but we'll see what how soon they let him go. Right there. There it is. So now, as you said, Will, it's a four-point match. There's an attack by Morvar and a low single. He gets it back up. He's in good position. If you, Chance to score, and that's a score. Oh, and he's looking for danger. There's two one counts. Nothing there. Had to give it to him. One count, one count. They're going to throw the brick here. He's looking for it. 5-3, it's going to be one takedown is going to be the difference here. It's exactly what he does. So it's a 5-3 match with just a minute to go. There's now, the escape. A little scramble situation. Cardano, you know, they're looking, looking for the win. Looking for danger. And that's going to end right there, the overtime period. Nearly halfway through period two. As oh, Salazar with a nice tilt looking for it. He almost has it here. Looking for that tilt, looking for swipes, and he has it. And there's going to be four back points for Isaiah Salazar, and he's going to open up a 4-0 lead with that nice little tilt there. Just under a minute to go, and he opens up a 4-0 lead. He's looking back for it again. Constant work and risk, and you can't seem to get anywhere. We'll see if it has an effect in this third period, but Salazar up to his feet real quick. Connell drops down to a single, and Salazar... He has riding time secured, so it's realistically going to be a 6-0 victory. And that will be the score. So riding time will give Salazar an extra point. 6-0 decision win for Isaiah Salazar over Dylan Connell. And the Golden Gophers will go up 16-12 for Edmund Ruth. And he quickly has that point. And th this is where Edmund's conditioning very impressive work from Andrew Sparks, holding his own against the nation's best wrestler at 174. But there is the takedown for Edmund Ruth. It feels like it was going to come at some point as he was going for the legs over and over and over again. Edmund looking for the ride out here, doing a nice job. And maybe, you know, let's let's give the Minnesota, oh, Minnesota staff credit. They didn't want to go down and comes out on top. 
Can he get another takedown? He does. he does. So that'll make it a six point lead for Ruth. And that'll make it a six point win for Edmund Ruth. Seven to one is the final score here for 174. But, yeah, but nonetheless, it, it is still another victory for the Fighting Illini. Yeah, and let I get back on the board with their fourth win. As you said, the first one since Danny Pacino. Edmund Ruth gets Illini back closer in this duel. Give up matches and, you know, Northwestern, you know, they canceled the duel. Uh, oh, there's an escape by Brenner, and he gets on the board early, one nothing. But back to Northwestern, they postponed the duel against Illinois. Not sure what, what happened in that duel, but very unusual to take a forfeit in a college wrestling match. 1-0 in favor of Blaine Brenner as he's looking to go for the legs, and he has the takedown. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Brenner's record here, and haven't, haven't seen a pin, you know, uh, on his resume here with 16 wins, but he went for that far side cradle immediately. Chris Moore up and out, and that, that escape is so important, so it's 4-1. to one. That forward pressure, that knee is so deep on that front leg. And what they say in this top position, Will, is you need to have forward pressure, constantly keeping all that pressure on the points of the down wrestler. Brenner doing a great job on top. Chris looking to grab that head, and there's that point. He's got a minute and 10 seconds left. With that riding time secured, and a six-point victory will give Minnesota another decision win. Just great start, you know, beat Johnny Lovett of Central Michigan, was beating ranked opponents, was right there with all of them, and then, you know, he wrestled, oh, there's a nice little re-attack, a nice little single, he's gonna look for that go behind, get behind, he's in great position here. Let's see if the, the edge of the mat, little headlock, Michael Block says Robert in trouble, and there it is, a headlock and back points with 40 seconds to go. And th this pin, if, if, and there it, it is, a fall by Michael Block is leading into the break. And that's going to put Minnesota up. That early momentum by Illinois as we roll into intermission. Michael Blockus picks up his second pin victory of the season. And he improves to 13-1 overall. What a win there from Michael Blockus. Yeah, Pet Pettigrew with this nice single here. Look at that. Looking for that takedown against Joel's. Nice little re-attack, scramble. Joel's looking to come out on top, and he gets the first takedown, 3-0. Joel's with that Mills half, and Isaiah Pettigrew has got on his back here with 42 seconds to go. Isaiah, that's your teammate out there, and he's got him in a very, very oh. difficult situation. Stuck. He got and it. There it is. He got the pin. Isaiah Salazar with the call here with us. <laughs> Garrett Joel's over Isaiah Pettigrew with 35 seconds to go in this 197 pound match. Don't go anywhere, Isaiah. We're gonna get this, this heavyweight match introduced and we're gonna get back to you. I know I wanna go out there for national title, compete for that national title, so that's my goal at the end of the day. Yeah. Short and simple. Yep, ten, 10 straight wins, you're on track. You know, nice little takedown right there by Brent Tabor. Anyone in the room there that pushes you, a coach? Garrett Jules did get the pin of Isaiah Pettigrew there. And in the there. same position here, Brent Tabor with Marinopolis, and he's got that leg. This is. Very, very tight. And of course, Marinopoulos was pinned 17 seconds into the match against Nebraska. Brent looking for that fall, and Brent Tabor, and there it is. And there it is. Back-to-back -back pins for Minnesota. Win this one 28 to 12, as Garrett Jules takes down Isaiah Pettigrew and Bennett Tabor, the 30th ranked wrestler in heavyweight, takes down Peter Marinopoulos.